I thought we played a very good team today, Lincoln Memorial. Um, take my hats off to them. They were well prepared. The team came out and shot the ball very well and was very aggressive. Um, to my players, we did the best we could as far as defensively. We, we did make runs. You know, of course, basketball is a game of runs, so we did make runs and try to answer that, but they just they shot the ball very well. So. What was, what was it for you guys that uh, you know, you had that tough game with Hawthorne today and you came kind of knee-jerk to it and just forget the fact that they were looking for a steal and ball? Uh, maybe it was uh, some if we missed uh, a steal or something in our press. So if we made a mistake, they capitalized off of it by pushing the ball ahead and attacking or got an easy layup or something like that. So that happened some of the time. Um, we had some unforced turnovers, uh, maybe because I know some of them came with the uh, double in the inside, and um, a post uh, wasn't ready for that or wasn't stepping to the ball to capitalize on that. And um, the other ones, <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. I, I, I don't know. just attack the basket. Um, if I see an opening, then I'm going to take it. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to attack off the dribble, one dribble pull up, come set me a screen. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to score because that's what I have to do in order for my team. In order for my team to be successful, I have to be on the floor and I have to be dominant. So. Two or three rejections of this career for you as a, as a member of Hawthorne and someone that you said you would never forget. And, you know, I know it's hard to look back on right now. Um, it's been amazing. I have this whole experience was a humbling experience. I was at a HBCU first. I was at Alabama State, and that was crazy. That was too crazy for me. So coming to Clayton actually like um, it humbled me. Like I said, I just I was able to um, learn within myself and figure out what I had to do as a player, and I just capitalized off of it. You, I, I was just talking to them about that in the locker room. They, I have big shoes to fill, you know, as far as with um, Andrea and Tweety and uh, Ashley. They have been with me the longest. And then bringing in Raven with the energy and Shakira, who's been very persistent and stepped up a lot this year. And then having uh, Dejan, who stayed with us, who played her role very well. So I'm going out and I'm trying, I'm trying to feel that because they have been some great, great players for me these last three to four years. So I'm happy for them. I'm happy they did get us another 20-win season. I'm happy I had all conference players, and I felt like they gave it all they, they had. So I'm very proud of the seniors and my team right now. What did you say about your fight to lose somebody that you love at Cal, you know, just a month or two ago, and it's still <laughs> good for where you are now here at Clayton? I was talking about that earlier. It, it, was, it was amazing. They, they stepped up when they had to, knowing that that's 20 points a game, you know, losing – Tierra, so people knew that they had to step up, and like Andrea stepped up, and, and Shakira, and they started to play more, more as a team, more together. So I'm, I hate we had to lose Tierra, but things happen for a reason. So and I'm, I'm proud of her as well. Thank you.